Brian Von VA here, back at it again with another narrated set of D&D slash TTRPG stories. Today's is a whopper. What's the most unfair thing a dungeon master ever did to you? Part two? Question mark? Most unfair thing a DM ever did to me was more of a chain of events. Made it so weapon effects that trigger on 20s, Vicious, Sharpness, or Vorpal, would instead trigger on crits. Gave me a Vorpal sword, I was a champion fighter, and then made every single enemy immune to crits. I got tired of it, so I threw the sword away and took up a flame tongue, so every single enemy was suddenly immune to fire damage, ho ho! So I picked up a boss and threw it out of a window, killing it instantly since my weapon did almost nothing to it. After that, he told me the others in the group didn't want me around anymore and kicked me out. I then learned from the players who all contacted me to ask why I wasn't coming anymore. Apparently the DM told them I didn't like the group despite the fact I was friends with all of the players from outside D&D. That he retconned the fight, so the boss threw my character out the window and killed him. Well, ain't that just fun. My first DM purposely killed my human fighter, then had the medallion he'd given the party at the beginning of the campaign disappear. Then my body got burned by the horde of orcs where we were hiding from. He did this because I knew some of the rules better than he did. This was a high schooler DM who was running a game for an after school program, and I was in the seventh grade. I didn't join the follow up game next year, and neither would have I. This was when 5th edition first came out and me and my friends were just getting into it. Me and my friend made our characters be high elf twins, playing lawful neutral paladins. We were starting at level 2 and we were going to battle some easy to fight goblins to get us into the system of 5th edition. I rolled really low for initiative and every single enemy was only trying to attack me and my friend. The goblins didn't mind that they were getting destroyed by a barbarian and a fighter too. They only target us. So at the end of the fight, me and my friend are bloody and weak, while no one else even got hit in the fight. Later that night, we got into another fight with a few more goblins and they didn't kill me and my friend. Instead, they beat our characters till they were unconscious and then literally cut off both of our hands and then left. Me and my friend were just sitting there, so confused, and had no clue of what to even do anymore. What you could do is just leave the group because that's a really toxic group and no one deserves that. Okay, so first game I ever played back in the dark days of 2nd edition AD&D &D in the year of Dale Reckoning 1997. The DM decided that since his girlfriend didn't like me on a particular day, that all enemies targeted me, and that our only copy of the player's handbook didn't need to reach my end of the table, and that if I didn't act immediately after my turn came up, then I'd lost my turn in initiative. This was only made worse since he decided that my dice didn't count since, oh, those dice are loaded, which they weren't, and he had his hands on the only other set of dice at the table. When, by some <laughs> miracle, I survived a combat encounter, he decided I wouldn't get experience since I was fighting using a bow and not in melee combat. What the heck? All the while his DM PC was stuck like flies on shit to his girlfriend's character who never got targeted, let alone hit by anyone in spite of her being a mage in melee combat. For those not in the know, that meant she couldn't wear armor if she wanted to have use of magic, so AC-10 and looking very soft and tempting as a target under any other circumstances. Either way, soon my character was killed, stripped of his equipment by the girlfriend and her appendage aka the DM. I was told the character was unable to be resurrected and that I'd have to make a new character. <laughs> Fine by me, I kind of wanted to use another character for a while anyway, so I started rolling using his dice in front of him. Not exaggerating, I rolled a 16, three 17s, and two 18s, one of which I ended up putting into strength, and as a fighter, had to roll on the extra strength table as a result. I think I got a 91 or something like that. 
Either way, in spite of using his dice and doing all of this directly in front of him with two other people watching, he decided the character wasn't able to be used since it was too powerful. <laughs> Needless to say, I got the message pretty loud and clear. Fast forward two months and I'm running a very popular campaign and he hasn't gotten a single session in that time. Life is good. The most unfair thing a DM did was when we were playing a one-shot he'd made up, we were a group of six or so level ones, with a human fighter, my character, a Gensai monk, an undead bard, and honestly, I don't remember what else the others played. It's been like two years? The only prompt we'd been given by the DM was we just got back from a dungeon where we got our asses kicked and were at a tavern. That was it. So we spent the next four hours screwing around the town, resulting in some drinking, dead rats, a tavern patron being beheaded in his own bed, and the undead bard biting and turning several people into zombies. At this point, the DM asked why we hadn't gone back to the dungeon. We asked, why should we go back if we've been beaten so badly? He said we were supposed to get supplies and go back to the dungeon, that was the point. But we were level one, with no money, so how were we supposed to buy anything? And he had never given us any incentive to go back. He said he was done and had us all roll a constitution saving throw. We all did and only one person passed the DC 19 con save, a DC he got by rolling a D20. So the DM said we all went back to the dungeon and died and the one who passed survived and fled the now entirely zombified village TLDR, DM didn't give us a clear goal, we screw around, then he kills us with a BS con check. My worst experience was a DM pretty much getting upset with me for making a character that fit a specific theme. I was a shadow magic sorcerer, and I basically built my character to deal necrotic damage and psychic damage, and that was pretty much it. It's actually kind of cool. I didn't think many other damage types would make sense flavor-wise, and I wanted to make a themed specialized character. Also really cool. A few sessions after we reached level 4, we're hunting down two cultist brothers who cursed our druid. We end up in a fight with one of the brothers and some giant snakes. And I learn after a few rounds of combat that every single enemy in this fight is immune to both necrotic and psychic damage. Then the other brother teleports into the fray. He's a cross between a rogue and a paladin, dealing upwards of 30 damage per hit. Reminder, we were all level four with no tank in the party. And for some reason, he also is immune to necrotic and psychic damage. So I'm completely useless in this fight. And yet every enemy only attacked me until I was dead. I dealt zero damage for the encounter, yet somehow I was perceived as the biggest threat and my sorcerer was killed. Next character I made in that campaign was a barbarian, and every single enemy we fought from then on was immune to damage from unenhanced weapons. Oh, and the kingdom we were in had a strict governmental control over enchanting, so I couldn't get a magic weapon. That, paired with some very racist and xenophobic themes in this guy's homebrew world, was enough to get me to quit the group. I've had a few over the years, but the most memorable one involved someone who would show up occasionally at our games and liked to be an ass. No one really liked him, oh, I can't imagine why, and somehow he managed to get us to let him DM a AD&D 2E, which is Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition, session in Dragonlands. During the session, I acquired a magical pendant that was some kind of plot MacGuffin. So, are you going to put it on? Hell no, I don't know what it is and it might be cursed. I'm going to wrap it in silk and stuff it in the bottom of my backpack until I get a chance to identify it. That evening I go into town and to do some shopping, and I leave my backpack and most of my gear at the inn. As I'm walking down the street I'm told someone in a hooded cloak walks up to me, grabs the pendant, and rips it off of me so hard it deals two points of damage. I'm a male wizard with a 4 HP. I'm told I'm not allowed to do anything or try to stop him, and then I remind him that I'm not wearing the pendant, and it's back at the inn. He gets pissy, says it happens anyway, and that's that. After the guy has walked off and I'm allowed to go do stuff again, he implies I should try to go get the pendant back because it's important. At this point, 
have no Fs left to give. So I just look at him and say, if he wants it so badly, he bends time and space to take it, he can keep it. I'm going back to the inn to sleep, and tomorrow, I'm going on to the next town. So that night, the DM had a drunk guy try to rape me while I was sleeping. The next day, a kinder steals a bunch of my stuff, again with no chance to stop him, then tracks me through the wilderness and tries to murder me. Thankfully, after that session, no one was willing to let him run one again, he still brings it up every few years and about how great he did, how much fun we all had, and we need to pick it up again and finish it. Yeah, he's one of those people who ignores what you say and turns it into good things in his memory. The most unfair thing a DM has done to me was the whole first campaign I ever played. In summary, my first character was a female cleric of the domains of travel and luck. Pathfinder First Edition, yes! And the DM argued that I could not recharge my spells after a long rest anywhere that was not a temple or similar. There were anti-magic fields everywhere. Most monsters had a special quality to sense auras or, I kid you not, smell magic and magic items. I and the paladin had to constantly make will saves to control our natural urges every fucking time we met an NPC the DM considered hot. They didn't need to talk to us or anything. If the NPC was hot, he could fuck you whenever he slash she wanted, and if you failed to save. The dice were good to me in all those roles, but the amount of times the paladin was in uncomfortable situations due to this roles were more than I feel capable of remembering. The DM didn't know the rules of combat and he made them up on the fly, always favoring the DM PCs, of course. For example, he didn't know how to calculate appropriate CR, so we faced against a pit fiend at level 7. We run a lot in that campaign. The barbarian became an unreasonable beastal killing machine that didn't recognize friend from foe each time he entered a rage. He almost killed us the first time, and he only entered rage two other times in the whole campaign. The rogue didn't ever use his sneak attack, not because he didn't remember to, but because the conditions were never right. At one point, he introduced a group of NPCs named Sam Battlehammer, Brunor Battlehammer, Half the Halfling, Regis, Gary Stew, I mean Driz Jordan, Drizit the Orden, Scarlet Caddy Bree, and Ragnar Wolfgar, and made it abundantly clear that the campaign was about them, not us. There was a lot more, but you get the point. As first time players, it took us more than what we should have to realize what was happening, and me and my friends are currently in the process of removing this person from our lives. On the other hand, I am preparing Curse of Strahd, and we will have our first session on the 31st of October this year. I hope it goes okay. We all deserve a better experience with roleplay. And hey, I hope it goes okay for you too. Hey everyone, Brian Von VA here. If you like today's video, then slap that like button. Whereas, if you aren't subbed already, consider rolling a d20 and subscribing. And if you roll a 1, uh, burn that die and roll a new one because that one's cursed. If you're interested in sharing your story or experiences, we actively invite you to join our subreddit r slash Mr. Ripper so you can leave your experiences in there in a brand new thread, or already one that's in existence out there. Sharing is caring and we're always happy to read your stories live or on vids here. Using a help action, you can always come join me at Brian Von VA on YouTube or Twitter, where I stream games, post in gaming content, and most of all, talk about voice acting and do VA challenges. It's all fun there. Links to all of these and way more in the description below.